What a pizza. Yeah, which is more than we can say for that giant pinata that was being delivered here. I hope they paid for shipping insurance. According to my advanced navigation technology, we are in close proximity to Oscar's auto shop. We could drop John and his car off with a minimal detour. Let's go! No, no time to waste. There's a disaster I need to prevent. We need to wait for Taylor to send us a message about where to go next. The time you spend inefficiently waiting on navigational instructions from Taylor is much greater than the three minutes I predict it would take for my suggested detour. And by my calculations, you have wasted at least 23 minutes arguing with John so far today. Dropping him off at Oscars would ultimately be a time saver. Yeah! Yeah, well, take it up with Taylor. Taylor is the one spinning the discs and calling the shots. Where are we going, Taylor? I'm not sending him to Oscars at all. I don't care what the narrator says. I don't give a damn. You know where I'm sending him at? I'll tell you where I'm gonna send him. Going for the monkey gloves. What if we had evolved more like monkeys? With four fingers and an opposable thumb instead of one easy laser pointer. Okay, right. Well, it seems like Taylor wants us to go to YouTube. To do that, we have to flip a U-turn. Yeah, well, I never look back. The life motto of mine. Tattooed it on my back. If it's on your back, how do you see it without looking back into a mirror? Well, I don't look at it. But, but if I wanted to, I mean, I suppose I could use a second mirror. To get to Utopatech, we need to backtrack to the artichoke stand. No, no. No, we never retreat. We have to move forward. Taylor, I'm sorry. You must be doubting yourself, but this is no time for a crisis of confidence. You've gotten us this far, and we are in this together now. Carol's Corner inviting you to come on down to Carol's Corner. Wicker a Furniture and Radio Parts Emporium. If you need a um, wicker nightstand, we got them. Uh, wicker paper plate holders, well, uh, we got those. Too. After narrowly avoiding electrocution from a candy distributing decoration, our voyagers wondered where to go next. And then the answer seemed to come to them like a comforting voice from the past. Huh. That voice sounds so familiar, doesn't it? We were inside uh, of the damn me. car files in the tell system. Me I've heard this voice before when this commercial aired previously. No, that's not it. Carol, she said. No, that's it. Carol's Curiosities. Rick's mom is Carol from the truck stop antique store. I know where we're headed. My map does not show any record of Carol's Curiosities. Well, it's actually called Carol's Corner. I call it Carol's Curiosities because she has a beautiful inlaid oak curio cabinet. Ah, Carol's Corner. ETA one minute. My GPS just updated me. Carol's Corner has been permanently closed. Well, that can't be right. It's not closed. I was just there. I don't know. Looks pretty close to me. Was there a fire here? I confirm smoke residue in the air. Oh, no. Yeah, I always told Carol, gasoline and wicker furniture don't mix. Ugh, her poor Russian doll collection. The fire looks recent. Well, what if I was supposed to prevent the fire and save Carol, but I'm too late? And where is Carol? I don't see her yellow Cadillac. Ho Hopefully she was far away when this happened. The flare... The flare! It's I feel like that flare well, that stupid girl sadly, shot caught Carol's on fire. I don't even know his name. He's always just been Alice's kid. And this you dude know, caught up on kids, bro. Alice and I went out once. She <laughs> talked about her kid as soon as the breadsticks arrived. I don't know. She just lives her life for I don't him, know. You know. I don't know what scared. it's going to take to get this through your head. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, dude. I really don't. I don't care. I, I don't care that you want the kids. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. I really don't. So shut up, please. Be a co-host. Do that. That's your job. Not to get personal with me. And I don't like you anyway. Now let me go in this car and figure out what the hell's going on before I get pissed off at you again. Our travelers were distraught to discover the fiery remains of Carol's curiosities. Or Carol's corner. Or Carol's Corner Wicker Furniture and Radio Accessories Emporium, depending on what you like to call it. For once, it seemed Taylor had failed them. 
and they wondered aloud where they should head next. Where to now? I don't know. DJ Taylor was sending me to Carol. Maybe... Maybe we still need to find her, but... Where could she be? Hey there, little What is that? Beauties. Were you sent here to help me? There must be thousands of them. I've never seen birds pulse like that. Murmurations are actually quite common anywhere that there are populations of starlings. Starlings are not native to the United States, but now roost in Oregon in the millions and are considered a destructive pest species. Okay, they're not pests. They Whoa! They, are they're showing an arrow! Look, watch the murmuration. Look, they're showing an arrow right now. It's telling it you to go looks straight. like an arrow. Okay, you know, hurry. We need to follow them. We need to drive in the direction that they are pointing. All right, listen. Anyway, so I just I want to tell you that. Fuck! Again, you know, Alice wasn't a good fit. I haven't ever been ready to live my life for someone else. I admire it though. She'll land on her feet. She's an amazing producer. It'll be pretty quiet here at the station without our notes everywhere. And the kid too, uh, keeping me on my toes. Maybe I could have monstrous it the little fella if she and Rick need me to. Okay, while this car beeps, I'm just let y'all know something. This dude is talking about things that I don't care about. It may seem like I'm coming off really mean and rude, but I don't even give a damn about all that. Do you see those birds making an arrow and pointing the direction that they need to go? Also, the fact that Carol's caught on fire and that stupid ass girl shot the flare off of that boat. Not into the water, but onto the land. Carol's might have got burned down because of that dumbass girl on the boat. I'm just saying. I'm not pointing fingers, but I am pointing fingers. And I'm willing to bet it was that idiot that shot the flare. Stupid. Alright, let's get back. With Carol's corner reduced to a smoking ash heap, the area man was desperate to find Carol. And for reasons no one can justify, he believed a flock of starlings would lead them straight to her. See? It's working. Look. Don't they kind of look like a smiley face now? They're happy with us. We've got to keep up. See that? Now they're turning sharply to the left. There's no road here. Doesn't matter. It matters a little. I'm not an off-road vehicle. Sometimes you have to stray from the beaten path. Time to seize the day. Two roads. Diverge. Yeah, this is not a, a good idea. Wood. And sorry I could not Warning, travel Warning, the strains on my shocks is beyond the factory tested limits. Traveler. Long I my stood car and is back there. It's taking a beating. I could to where it bent in the underworld. Steering has become unreliable. Then took the other as just as fair. We need to um, turn back. Somewhere, ages and ages hence. This is not a safe path. Diverge in a wood, and I. I took the one last travel. You by. are a maniac! You have to listen to us. All Stop! The difference. Look, they paused and formed what looks like an exclamation, an exclamation point. Mark. I'm not sure what it means. At least we've stopped. We can't go on like this. It feels like a warning. But what are they trying to warn us about? Holy shit! Excrement of an avian nature. Oh, that's disgusting. It is a natural biological process. John, everyone poops. Huck, let's oh, clear man. these windows and get moving. We can't lose them now. That is not clearing the windshield. It's just smearing it all around. My apologies. I was not programmed to cry and my tear ducts are dry. Max Greenfield is amazing. Help.
<laughs> I was not initially programmed to make humorous yes. comments, but I have studied human behavior and yeah, I'm almost reference material it. database. It is rather impressive. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, Huck. This deluge has cleared the windshield, and look, birds have formed the shape of a C. C for Carol. They're leading us to her. I'm, I'm sure of it. corner had been a bust. Any transponders for sale there had gone up in flames with the rest of the store. But maybe the quest to get the radio station back up and running had all been set in motion so the area man could seek out Carol. Would the area man save the day after all? Was all the chaos of the day leading him to this singular moment of connection? Let's find out how this adventure concludes. Rick, Rick, is that you? I knew you'd come. Sorry to disappoint you, Carol. Uh, it's me. <laughs> well, I, we went to your shop and it looked like there had been an accident. Uh, yes, uh, a fire. Yeah, uh, so how'd that happen? I'm too embarrassed. Well, Carol, you can tell me anything. I'm, I'm worried about you. It's just, Rick never returns my calls and I miss him so. Yeah, well, that's not right. I mean, you're such a sweet lady and, and a good mom. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, what does missing Rick have to do with the fire? I, I thought, you know, maybe if he was worried about me. I don't like where this is going. Tail's maybe wrong. Maybe he heard I was in a terrible accident. He'd check in on me more often. Hey, uh, Carol? Did you set that fire? Only just a little. <laughs> you only set the fire a little. <laughs> I made sure it was after hours so no one would get hurt, and I, and I wow. waited for a low wind day. I think Carol may need a little attention from people who are trained to help her. <laughs> uh, Carol, you, you know that's not okay. <laughs> no, no. But do you know I've stayed here for eight days since the fire? Rick hadn't come check on me even once. He hadn't called. I mean, for all he knows, I died in that fire. I called him eight times a day, and then he hears nothing from me in over a week. And he doesn't even notice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Carol. I think you're lonely living way out here alone. You know, I live in my mom's basement and I've been craving more, well, you know, more independence. And I'm ready to spread my wings and fly away from the nest. And, I mean, ultimately I, I wouldn't want to leave my mom permanently, but maybe I could come stay here on the weekends with you. I, I would really like that. I, I wondered if I should get a roommate. Yeah, we could play canasta and... And I could eat your banana bread and listen to you read out loud to me. You'd be willing to do that for me? Yeah, I sure would, Carol. I, I think you're a lovely lady. And Rick is a fool to take you for granted. Would you call, call me Mom sometime? Uh, yes, I sure would. Most uh, definitely. What's going on here? Thank you. I was becoming so desperate, I'm not sure what I would have done. You're my hero. Well, I'm happy to help, Mom. <gasps> oh, did you see that? The sky, it turned almost neon violet. It, it paused a few times. Did you see it? It looked like a normal sky to me. It was the most peculiar thing. I'll see you Friday evening, Carol. I'll, I'll bring some laundry. I love doing laundry. <gasps> Bye. -bye. Thanks again. Goodbye, Carol. Where to? Well, I think my work here is done. Let's get John's car to the shop and call it a night. Hey, would you mind turning the radio on? Mysterious.
serious case of arson and potential insurance fraud. The area man, who asked not to be identified, said he hopes the accused is shown leniency, as she was just incredibly lonely and happens to be a terrific mother who irons the creases of khakis just right. Unfortunately, tragedy still looms heavy over our small town, as a pregnant woman who disappeared this afternoon is still missing. Rescue workers pledged to search through the night for the pregnant woman who is believed to be in active labor. Her friends say she was visibly upset earlier today after she and her husband got in a fight. The friends who were camping with the woman say that her water broke just as the explosions began on the beach. The woman ran off in terror when raccoons tore through their campsite, wielding miniature blow dart guns with their adorable, clever, super dexterous people paws. What the fuck? First responders hope to find the woman and her baby alive, but the longer the search continues, the less hope they have of a happy ending for the woman and her child. Taylor couldn't help but feel responsible for the missing woman's precarious state and would do anything.